hello lovelies my beautiful people out there yeah welcome to today's tutorial we are learning how to make our multiple bow tie v-back to band cap if you know you are a host subscriber you already subscribed to this channel i say thank you very much you can comment you can like our videos and also if you are a first timer here first time watching this video please click on the subscription button and click on the notification button to get more videos from us materials needed is our yori yori fabric our polo fabric our polo lining uh measuring tape our needle and thread and our pins and our scissors and our crinoline these are the fabrics needed for the this tutorial for the measurements for the band we are using 15 inches by 5 inches 15 inches by 5 inches on the stretchy side of the fabric then for the base we are using and this is in two places for the base we are using 30 inches by 14 inches 30 inches by 14 inches what i'll be doing here in this 30 inches i'm going to cut out 23 inches which is 11 and a half on this part this is how we are going to do it we're going to cut it like this when you get to like three inches two inches we'll curve your hands to to this 15 inches then you take out three in, two inches from here this is how i normally have my bogus back here it is so for the bow tie design we are going to use four pieces of boats four pieces of material for the bow tie the first one is 20 inches by 7 the second one is 18 inches by 7 inches the third one is 16 inches by 7 inches the fourth one is 14 inches by 7 inches we are going to take it to the machine and we are going to sew straight down sew straight down sew straight down all of them before we come and use our crinoline to pass through it to give it the bow tie set fitting and we are going to have another pieces we are going to have another pieces of, that we are going to use to cross the bow tie down so i'm just going to take this like seven inches and sew it down for the lining of the band we are using this polo fabric it's on the stretchy side because this thing is too light that is why i normally do it like this we are going to put it like this put it like this then you cut out because the fabric is already thick so i'm going to do it like this do this one like this and i'm going to join them like this what i will do i'll go to my sewing machine i will sew down from this end to this end here we are we'll put in our lining like this place this fine side to be facing inside so you can start pinning down Cut out, as you are cutting out, please leave space because this soft fine brick and this lining, they are somehow funny sometimes. Sometimes they will drag in, sometimes they will drag out themselves. So just leave like half inch space in between the, the lining and the, put an excess half inch as you are cutting on the lining. It's better to be excess than to not to be enough. So I'm going to the machine I'm going to join this lining and join the band and I'll be back to show you what I did. I will go to the to the machine. I will join sew this like this round, sew it around like this. And I will I'm not going to touch this part. I'm going to leave it like this. I'll sew this one and I'll be back. So here we are. We are done joining them. So for this part, I'm going to cut out this. SS part so we are going to notch to know the middle part of it this is it we 
you're going to nurse it also to know the middle part so we'll come back here like this this material is very soft we'll come back here get the middle part of this and get the middle part of this also you can pin them together so when you go to the machine now we are going to sew straight down after sewing straight down we're going to take here take so from like one half inch or one inch just sew it like this so i'll cover when you get here please 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 that's what i'm going to do and i'll be back here's our base as we went to sew after adding the joining the v pass we joined them together like this so i want i will go to my weaving machine i will weave this weave this also and if you have an excess pass like this you take your needle and thread I'm going to tap. You don't normally see to this end, it will stop here by the curve. So, the next thing for us to do now, this part we're going to sew straight down you just have to turn it upside down and to turn it upside down get your crinoline we are using this strong crinoline it's of 3 inches and we we'll make sure that this part that is folded in the crinoline is well you beat up the part that we're facing ground and so yeah, this part, this part that we joined will be the part that is facing ground also. So we go in like this. And as you do, just pin them. So, I'll do that to the remaining three. So, here it is the four pieces of it. You can go to your machine and sew down, sew the edges. But I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to join it like this. Cut out this excess out. And you put it like this. And if you join it like this, it's like this. You get the middle of both sides. Then you sew down. As you remove the pins, drag it down so it has already given you your bow design. So, I've already gotten the bow design. I'm going to do this to these remaining parts. So, here it is. We'll join it line by line from the highest number to the lowest number. So, here we are. I take my needle and thread and I I tap down. So, this piece I see. I'm going to use it to dry, tuck it down to cover this middle. After I've done this coverage, I will go. I'm going to place it on the base. Please click on the subscription button, please. If you know you have not clicked to this on the subscription button. 
click on the subscription button to subscribe to this channel so uh, you can leave it like this or you can have your applique but the customer i'm making this one for does not need applique that is why i'm not putting applique here i'm going to leave it plain like this so here it is So here we are. It's our base, our multiple um, bands, our multiple bow tie, to band cap, V band to band cap. Here it is. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, if you feel like to add your applique, you can add your applique. But the customer making this one now does not need applique on it. He just wants it plain like this. So you can add your applique design on it. Here is our multiple bow tie multiple bow tie v band to band base cap to band cap we love you so much thank you for watching to this extent please if you're not subscribed to use our youtube channel please click on the subscription button click on the social button to get to to subscribe to our youtube channel and please if you know you have you you love this video click on the like button and you can comment on the comment section and please you can ask your question there or send us caps that you want us to make design for you and we love you so much for your time thank you so much